Yo, what is up guys? I'm back again with another G Fuel review video and today I'm going to be reviewing Cotton Candy G Fuel. So this is it right here. Uh, my last video was Sour Blue Chug Rug. And today I'm going to be reviewing Cotton Candy. It's inspired by Keemstar. So yeah. If you guys don't know what G Fuel is, G Fuel is a energy drink. It's a healthier alternative to energy drinks because it's sugar free. It has 25 calories and it has a bunch of vitamins and antioxidants. And right here, there's this little crease line, and you just put your finger around it and just cut it. It's so, right here, little leg thing. Open it. Okay. Just like the sour blue chug rug or the sour blue raspberry. The powder is white. It smells really good. It smells exactly like corn candy. I have 16 ounces of water in here. And the scooper, I think I see it. Nope, that's not the scooper. Oh, I have to dig for that. Here. A lot of times, the scooper is at the bottom. But for some people, like it's at the top. Like the last time I did it, I hate digging for it. Here it is. Super powdery. Oh my god. People always make a mess, and I did too. But I can clean that up later. So, last time I took off this little water bottle piece right here. Because you're only supposed to fill it up to here, and some people fill it up all the way over there. This is just meant for a water bottle, so if you have a water bottle, it will like fit in it. But I don't have a water bottle, but for this one, I'm going to keep it on just in case I have a friend that wants to try it or whatever. So yeah. It smells really good. By the way, it comes with this little packet thing that keeps it like dry and fresh. Don't take that out, because if it gets like wet it will just mess up the G Fuel. So yeah, I'm gonna open it up right here. I'm gonna get a good scoop. A nice, even amount. It also helps to not like spill the G Fuel. From what I heard, this is a very light flavor. Okay. This is about a scoop. I'm going to do a little bit more. Right. So, uh, with the sour blue chug rug, it was white and it turned blue. So, let's see what color it turns now. Okay, right now I don't really see any color change. Here. I'm going to put on the cap. So, um, honestly, it's turning, it's turning a little bit of like, oh, a light pink, so like a whitish pink, but yeah, I'm going to shake it up and then I'll cut so when I'm done shaking it. So I just finished shaking it up. This is what it looks like. It just has like a whitish color. Uh, I shook it up for like two minutes. It's pretty foamy right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like from the top though. Yeah, it's really foamy. It smells really good. Here's what it looks like. As I said, it's just like a whitish. It's a whitish, pinkish color. Anyway, I'm gonna taste test it. My last video, I reviewed the Sour Blue Chug Rug. It was a really good flavor. Today I'm reviewing cotton candy. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a test. So, a lot of people have said that this is a light flavor. And they're right. It's not super cotton candy like if you just took cotton candy from like a carnival and ate it but this is a really good flavor 
It's light, it's super smooth, it's like not powdery at all. It's sweet, it tastes like cotton candy. And yeah, it's a good flavor. I think I like it better than Sour Blue Choco. This is a good flavor, but this is just super light. It's not too sweet. It's good, it smells good, it's smooth. But I'll make a follow-up video for like my top five G Fuel flavors, and I'll be like trying those more to see which one I like better. But so far, cotton candy is a really good flavor. G Fuel did really good with this. It's inspired by Keemstar. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I'm gonna be posting another video tomorrow, either mixing cotton candy with milk or mixing cotton candy and sour blue chug rug. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably do the cotton candy with milk. Or no, I'll probably mix it. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Please like and subscribe with post notifications on. And yeah, I'm out.